Okay, Marco, uh, one simple thing. I wish your cameraman would have done a little bit of a better job. Uh, but as I zoom in here, um, what we want to work on is what we're doing in our lower half with our swing. As you have your negative movement here, i.e. you're going back, I think that not I think. I, you're getting too much into your back leg instead of into your back hip. Because what ends up happening as you are in your back leg, your hips climb a little bit. But the big thing is that you stay a little bit stuck on your back leg and it throws off your timing. Because what you're going to see is as you are coming down to toe touch, you're going to see your knees start to open up and you're going to start to come forward here. That's before you're in the ground. Okay. And you can see that as we're at toe strike, you know, go back and look at all of the samples of the videos that I put up and see what their legs look like at toe touch. And you can see how we've already turned here. We've got a lot of weight here. We've already started to move our hands here. So we're naturally set up to have a little bit of arms first and around action. If you go back and watch all of those guys in the, the videos that I have entitled Rhythm and Flow, and just pause when they're at toe touch or look at any of the sample instructional videos that I put up and where they pause at toe touch and you'll see they're in a much more balanced position and haven't started to have anything come forward right here. And then what's going to help us get to that position is if as we make our negative move, we focus on loading our back hip, not getting into our back leg. Because I think that right now your back hip, in fact, I know it is, your back hip is outside of your back foot, right? Your back hip has just gotten too far back this way. I know I drew an, a, a crooked line, but you can see from your back hip coming down, you're outside of your back foot. And again, that puts the weight into our back leg. And then as we try to unload everything, you can see how you're getting a little bit of climb with your hip. And it's that motion there that we need to take off and we can fix it earlier in our swing by loading our back hip instead of our back leg and getting into the ground level at toe touch uh, so that none of this has started to turn before we get into the ground.